San Blas Islands comprise over 340 islands on the Atlantic coast of Panama and they're home to the Kuna Indian. In this episode, we're going to go back to the San Blas area from the Shelter Bay Marina near the Panama Canal. As part of the Grand Large Yachting World Odyssey Rally, the boats will be meeting for rendezvous at the Shelter Bay Marina and we'll be back at Shelter Bay before crossing the Panama Canal to the Pacific side. Shelter Bay Marina is a gateway to the Panama Canal and some of the rally boats were arriving already, so we'd only have a short week in the San Blas area. Haul out is always a stressful time for liveaboards and we just want it done as quickly as possible. We were super happy with the boat work in, in Shelter Bay. And with the bottom paint finished, Biotrack was launched again. It was a tight squeeze, but it did fit. During our time on the hard in Shelter Bay, I was able to explore the jungle and see woodpeckers, toucans, and capuchin monkeys. They were abundant all around the marina. an upwind slog from St. Blas of Shelter Bay and we left late in the afternoon so that we could arrive in the early morning with sun so that we could make it in, around the core heads into the anchorage without a problem. had one reef in the main during the night when we were sailing upwind and didn't shake it out when we got behind the islands because we'd be arriving soon and it was just daylight and it was a beautiful morning. Bring some fruits and vegetables from Panama, the friends we would meet in the San Blas Islands. The Kuna are the indigenous people here who preserve their culture and heritage. There are no hotels here and foreigners cannot own land. Diving on the anchor is one of the nice jobs you can do when you're in beautiful, clear, turquoise water. This brain coral is something you don't want to have the anchor tangled on. And after checking out the anchor, we swam a little further towards the reef. It's so nice to see some coral on a very shallow reef that's not totally bleached, although there was evidence of some bleaching. Bottom paint is still looking good. We anchored this family of Kuna came to visit and asked if we would give them some water. So we filled up the yellow water jug from our reservoir of uh, reverse osmosis water. Another Kuna boat stopped by to sell us some lobster. And we let Tiller have a look before he boiled them up. The nice thing about the Kuna Indians is they're not too insistent. 
If you say you're not interested, they just smile and wave and go away. It's really, really a pleasure to have these boats come up and offer to sell you seafood or molas. Molas are those beautiful embroidered garments that they wear, and they sell molas as a way to make money. Just now to make the big lobsters. We found one of the lobsters a bit too small, so we're gonna we're gonna throw it back. We wouldn't keep one that small, so go hide, go hide, lobster. Here comes Saga. They're arriving from Las Rocas, which are some islands off Venezuela. They took no time getting out the toys. Then Palm 3 arrived, and we had a nice get together in the evening. Hello, Lisa. We have a little party going. And we have another boat arriving. There you go. The next day was bright and sunny, and more rally boats had arrived and had anchored in the bay. Ivan, a kuna who lives on Hollandis Island, and he offered to host a beach barbecue that evening. Ivan spoke English, French, and the kuna language. He had worked on merchant ships and was well traveled. Tiller, no, no jumping. She's too excited. Yeah. No. Sit. Sit. Tiller, sit. Good girl. Am I looking the wrong way? Yeah. I'm like, there you go. <laughs> okay. C'est des enfants qui jouent avec le feu. The next day we went back to the beach and Ivan showed us how he made the focaccia bread that he had served the night before. I learned a lot in Panama City. I learned with, with him five years working with him in the kitchen. But anyway, at the last you need to uh, use bread anyway. But we start. This is good. Ivan gave us a tour of the island, showed us some of the things he was growing in his garden, and then he talked about a tsunami that hit the island many years ago. It was a tragedy. So they had to stand in the top of the trees till the water went down, and 200 kuna died. The wave three times. Hard to imagine in this tropical paradise. That was over 100 years ago and now part of kuna history. And then it was time to return to Shelter Bay for our scheduled Panama Canal crossing. It was sad to leave this beautiful area, and next time we'll spend longer here. We're just about to enter into the country. 
cold area. 